Welcome to the Airway 5800 calibration video. On this video, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process to calibrate your Airway 5800 tractor scale. It's easy to do, and just a few minutes spent setting up your Airway scale will give you years of use, saving you time and money on weighing your loads. This video and more information on our scale products are available online at www.air-way.com. To use your airway scale, you first need to calibrate it to your rig. You must tell the scale what each axle weighs with an empty load and a heavy load, with the help of an in-ground truck scale. You will need your axle weight ticket from an in-ground scale so that you have certified weights to calibrate your steer axle, drive axle, and trailer weight. Empty weights must be entered with the vehicle empty, and heavy weights must be entered with the vehicle loaded. You can enter your empty or loaded weights in either order, although in this video, we'll start by setting up your empty weights first. When you've arrived at an in-ground scale empty, get your axle weights from the in-ground scale and use the following steps to enter them into your airway scale. Make sure that the tractor's on level ground and that the truck will not roll. Chalk your wheels if necessary. Release your brakes. Dump the air suspension on both the tractor and the trailer for about 5 to 10 seconds and then reinflate. Once your airbags have reinflated to ride height, you'll be ready to calibrate your airway scale. To start calibrating, press Escape. When the screen displays View Weights, Alarms, Print Setup, scroll down until Print Setup is flashing and press Enter. Now the screen displays Print Report, System Setup, and Diagnostics. Scroll down until System Setup is flashing and press Enter. The screen displays Calibration, System Configuration, and Set Pin Number. When Calibration is flashing, press Enter. If your airway scale already has pin number protection, you'll need to enter it now using the up and down arrow buttons and pressing Enter to continue. The screen displays Adjust Calibration, Manual Calibration, and Enter Ratio. Scroll down until Manual Calibration is flashing and press Enter. Now you can choose between empty weights and heavy weights. We will enter our empty weights first. When empty weights is flashing, press Enter. A help screen will display telling you to make sure your truck is empty. Pause until the next screen is displayed. Make sure you have your empty weight in-ground scale ticket handy. Next, you'll be asked to select an axle to calibrate. Choose the steer axle first. STR is already flashing, so press Enter to select your steer axle. On this screen, you'll use the up and down arrows to bring the empty steer axle weight on your airway scale to match the empty steer axle weight on your scale ticket. Once you've matched the ticket weight, press Enter and wait for the scale to flash Accepted. Press Escape to return to the Axle Selection menu. Next, select the drive axle. Scroll down until DRV is flashing and then press Enter to select your drive axle. On this screen, you'll use the up and down arrows to get the empty drive axle weight on your airway scale to match the empty drive axle weight on your in-ground scale ticket. Once you've matched the ticket weight, press Enter and wait for the scale to flash Accepted. Then press Escape to return to the axle selection menu. Next, select the trailer axle weights. Scroll down until TRL is flashing and then press Enter to select your trailer axle. On this screen, you'll use the up and down arrows to get the empty trailer axle weight on your airway scale to match the empty trailer axle weight on your in-ground scale ticket. Once you've matched the ticket weight, press Enter and wait for the scale to flash Accepted. Now, press Escape several times to get back to the main weight display screen. The weights that are shown will not be accurate until you have also entered your heavy weights. Next, we need to tell the airway scale what each axle weighs with a load on. You do not need to have a maximum load to calibrate the scale. 20 to 30,000 pounds is sufficient, 
The scale can calculate and display weights over and under your empty and heavy entries. We've found that in-ground scales can vary several hundred pounds from one another, so it's best to use the same in-ground scale to enter your empty weights and your heavy weights if possible. Return to the same in-ground scale and weigh with your truck fully loaded. Now you'll enter the heavy axle weights from an in-ground scale into your airway scale. Make sure the tractor is on level ground and that the truck will not roll. Chalk your wheels if necessary. Release your brakes. Dump the air suspension on both the tractor and the trailer for about 5 to 10 seconds and then reinflate. Once your airbags have reinflated to ride height, you'll be ready to calibrate your airway scale. To start calibrating, press Escape. When the screen displays View Weights, Alarms, Print Setup, scroll down until Print Setup is flashing and press Enter. Now the screen displays Print Report, System Setup, and Diagnostics. Scroll down until System Setup is flashing and press Enter. The screen displays Calibration, System Configuration, and Set Pin Number. When calibration is flashing, press Enter. The screen displays Adjust Calibration, Manual Calibration, and Enter Ratio. Scroll down until Manual Calibration is flashing and press Enter. Now you can choose between Empty Weights and Heavy Weights. This time, we'll enter our Heavy Weights. When Heavy Weights is flashing, press Enter. A help screen will display, telling you to make sure your truck is loaded. Pause until the next screen is displayed. Make sure you have your heavyweight in-ground scale ticket handy. Next, you'll be asked to select an axle to calibrate. Choose the steer axle first. STR is already flashing, so press Enter to select your steer axle. On this screen, You'll use the up and down arrows to bring the heavy steer axle weight on your airway scale to match the heavy steer axle weight on your scale ticket. Once you've matched the ticket weight, press Enter and wait for the scale to flash Accepted. Press Escape to return to the axle selection menu. Next, select the drive axle. Scroll down until DRV is flashing and then press Enter to select your drive axle. On this screen, You'll use the up and down arrows to get the heavy drive axle weight on your airway scale to match the heavy drive axle weight on your in-ground scale ticket. Once you've matched the ticket weight, press Enter and wait for the scale to flash Accepted. Then press Escape to return to the axle selection menu. Next, select the trailer axle weights, scroll down until TRL is flashing, and then press Enter to select your trailer axle. On this screen, you'll use the up and down arrows to get the heavy trailer axle weight on your airway scale to match the heavy trailer axle weight on your in-ground scale ticket. Once you've matched the ticket weight, press Enter and wait for the scale to flash Accepted. Now, press Escape several times until you get back to the main weight display screen. You've now finished entering both your empty and heavy axle weights, and your airway scale calibration is complete. Now calibrated, your airway scale will display weights accurate to within 300 pounds. Remember, for consistent accurate weights, always weigh on flat level ground and with your brakes off, and dump the suspension air for a few seconds and allow to reinflate. We hope you enjoy the time and money you'll save by using airway scales. Travel safe.